Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week, and if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. I'll keep this brief. I made a tank top. I had an idea in my head and I decided to get to work on this cutie. This tank top's a pretty quick workup, uses a few stitches so it's perfect for beginners, and it looks great paired with some nice denim. But if you have a different idea for wearing it, let me know in the comments below. We can trade notes and be all friendly like. Now let's get on with the show, so without further ado. For this project, any category for yarn will work, but I used a total of 170 grams of yarn, that's 380 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5.5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order, and enter this week's pattern giveaway by commenting your favorite jean brand. Mine used to be Topshop, but recently I've been digging Levi's. Details down below. We're using three stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. And double crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and I explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5.5mm hook and start off by making a chain that reaches from our underarm down to underneath the girls. So we're going to start by making a chain that's 5 inches or 13 centimeters, so it's going to be a chain of 18. And now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain one that counts as our turning chain, not as a stitch, and then into that chain that we blocked off for the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. So insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over, and pull through both loops on our hook. So pull through one, and pull through two. Let's do the next one. Into that next chain, insert your hook, Yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook. Continue to do this until we don't have any more chains left to work into. Now that we're at the end of our row number one, starting our row number two, we're going to have to do an increase. So how we do that with our slip stitch rows is start with a chain of two. So there's one, and then there's two. Go ahead and flip your work, and then into the chain that's nearest to the hook, this is going to count as our turning chain, not as a stitch. And we're going to insert our hook into that second chain from our hook with a slip stitch. That's where the increase for this row comes into. So insert, yarn over, and pull through everything. Now from here, we're going to be putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So insert your hook into that next stitch's back loop, or the loop that's furthest away from us. Yarn over, and pull through everything. Let's do the next one. Into that next back loop, insert. Yarn over and pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch while doing a chain two at the end of this row so that we can do an increase for the next row. We're going to keep alternating between those two rows until this portion that we have can stretch from mid underarm over to the middle of our breast, and then I'll meet you guys back on the increase side. Alright, so I'm back with my underarm portion. I have a total of 9 rows, and this is just about an inch and a half or 4 centimeters unstretched. And what we're going to do from here, since we all ended along the top, we're going to make a chain that reaches to about our collarbone. So for me, that's going to be a chain that's 3 inches or 8 centimeters. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 10. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain of one, and then into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, and insert with a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through everything. From here, we're going to put one slip stitch into every chain, and then once we reach the body portion, we're going to continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way all the way down. When we reach the end, do a chain one, Flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way back up, leaving the last two stitches so that we can decrease together. So now that we have made our way all the way up, we should have two stitches left, so let's do a decrease. 
insert your hook into that second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through. Into that next back loop, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. And once we have that, do a chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Once we reach the end of this row, do a chain one and working our way back up, we're always going to do a decrease into these last two stitches. Do a chain one, flip our work, and then one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way back all the way down. And we're going to keep alternating between those two rows until this reaches mid chest. And I'll meet you guys back along the top of our work. So I am back with the decrease portion of my front panel. And now we're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did here, going up the other side, but with opposite stitches. So instead of increases, we're going to do decreases and vice versa. So we all should have ended along the top right here. What we're going to do is the same amount of rows that we did over here, but with increases. So since we're along the top, we're going to chain two, flip our work, and into that second chain from our hook, insert your hook into that back loop, yarn over, pull through everything, and then that's it. Put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way all the way down. When you reach the end, do a chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way all the way back up with a chain two at the very end, and then we're going to increase into that next row. And we're going to keep alternating between those two rows until we have the same amount of rows that we have along this side. Minus one, because we do want to end along the bottom. I'll meet you guys back once we have this finished. All right, so I've made my way all the way across, and now have the same amount of rows as my decrease portion, and now we're going to do our underarm portion together. So the first thing we're going to have to do is insert our stitch marker into the same amount of chains that we made over here on this side. So if you guys have my numbers, I made a chain of 10 here. So along the top, I counted down 10 and inserted my stitch marker. I'm going to make my way all the way up, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row, just to show you guys how we're going to decrease for this underarm portion. Now that we've made our way all the way up to our stitch marker, our next row is going to start with a decrease. So chain one, flip our work. Now to do our decrease again, we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop, pull through, next back loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way all the way back up. So when we are working our way down towards the bottom, start with a decrease, working our way back up, no decreases. Keep alternating between those two underarm rows, and I'll meet you guys back when we have the same amount of rows after a chain up of one and cut. Alright, so the entirety of my front panel is all finished. I did do a chain up of one and cut once when I finished my underarms, and what we're going to do from here is work on the back panel. So all we're going to do is take the first chain that we made when we started this underarm portion, and we're going to make the same chain for the back. So since I made a chain of 18, I'm going to make another chain of 18. All right, now that I have my chain, I'm going to block off my last chain, do a chain one. Into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch, just like how we've been doing. Into that next stitch, insert, yarn over, pull through everything with a slip stitch. Continue to put one slip stitch into every chain. When we reach the end of this row, do a chain one, Flip our work and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And that's it. We're going to keep repeating that row until we have the same amount of rows as our front panel. Go ahead and get those rows done and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I am back and my entire back panel is all finished. Now, what we're going to do from here is seam our front to our back. So, we're going to start by sandwiching our two panels on top of each other. Then, we're going to insert our hook into the front panel's corner stitch. And then from here, we're going to do an outside loop slip stitch seam. So start with the yarn over and pull through everything to secure. And then into that front panel, insert your hook into that front loop only. And then into the back panel, insert into that next available stitches back loop. Once we have this, we should have three loops on our hook. So go ahead and yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Let's do the next one. Insert your hook into that next front loop of the next stitch into the next back loop of the next stitch of the back panel, yarn over, pull through everything. Keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left and then do a chain up of one and cut. 
and then go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and then I'll meet you guys back. Our front and our back panel is connected together and the next thing we're going to do is our strap. We're going to have to do a little bit of prep for that, so let's get that started. We're going to first start by inserting our hook into this top corner stitch. It doesn't matter which side. Go ahead and insert your yarn onto your hook and pull through. From here, do a chain up of one to secure, and we're going to put one single crochet into each of these stitches. And then once we reach our side slip stitch rows, we're going to be putting one single crochet into each of those. So inserting our hook into that next stitch, go ahead and insert with just one single crochet. And continue to put one single crochet into every stitch. I'll meet you guys back right when we're ready to go into our side slip stitches. Your single crochet row is all finished. Now working into our side slip stitch rows, we're going to find that first available row right here. Mine is this raised one, so we're going to find that top loop and then single crochet into there. Let's find our next side slip stitch row. Mine is this divot right in here. So we're going to find that top loop and then single crochet. Let's do one more set into the top of this next raised slip stitch row. One single crochet. And then into this divot of this side slip stitch row, single crochet. We're going to continue to do this, making our way all the way around the back, up here, and then single crochet all the way up to this corner. And then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so we are back, and we have just finished up single crocheting along the entirety of the outside of our piece. So now we're going to have to get started on our strap, but that's actually just going to be a prep because we're going to build out a little bit of the strap first. And then the underarm band will be worked off of the strap, but the strap needs to be connected to the underarm band, so that needs to be done first. So what we're going to do is do a chain one. And then from here, working down the side of our piece, we're going to be putting one slip stitch into every stitch for the width that we want our strap to be. So I want mine to be about an inch. So I'm going to do five back loop single crochets once into each of the next five stitches. Once when I have this, I'm going to chain one, flip my work, and then continue with putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're going to continue with back loop slip stitch rows until we have roughly 10 rows, or depending on how thick you guys want your underarm band to be. But I'm going to do 10 just as a preparation, and then I'll meet you guys back. So I have my 10 rows to start off my strap. So I'm going to insert my stitch marker. I'm not going to do a chain up of one and cut. And I'm going to grab the other tail end of my yarn, other tail end, there we go, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. So start by inserting your hook into the corner stitch, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch for the same amount of stitches that we did here for about 10 rows or however many rows that we did. And I'll meet you guys back so that we can start working on this bottom half. Now if you guys don't have an extra skein to work into, go ahead and do a chain up of one and cut after the second one so that we can get started with our underarm portion, but I will meet you guys back. All right, so now that I have both of my straps prepped, we're now going to start off by counting out the amount of side slip stitch rows that we have along one of our straps, it doesn't matter which one, and that is going to be the width of our underarm portion. So I want my underarm portion and my strap to be the same, and that's about an inch. So I'm just counting the side, I'm going to count my first side slip stitch row, that's one, two, three, four, and then five. I'm going to insert my hook into here. And then I'm going to put one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. So go ahead and insert your hook. Pull through, do a chain up of one. Now from here, find your next side slip stitch row, which is this divot. There is one. This is my next side slip stitch row, which is this raised row, so single crochet into there. This is my next. And then my next. Once when we have put one single crochet into every side slip stitch row, we're now going to need to connect it into the base with a slip stitch. So insert your hook into there with just one single crochet. Now this first row is all closed off. Let's do our next row. Slip stitch up 
just one stitch. There we go. Flip our work. And then from here, we're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making sure we're working into the stitches that we just made along the side of our strap. And then from there, we're going to continue. So chain one, flip our work, one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, slip stitch it into the next stitch into the base to close off that row, slip stitch it into the stitch after that to work our way up to the next row, flip our work, and then continue with our one back loop slip stitches into every stitch. And we're going to continue to do that, making our way all the way around. And I'll meet you guys back to show you how we're going to connect it into the other side. All right, so we are back and we have just made our way all the way across our back and up to our next strap. And what we're gonna do from here is seam the two ends together. So how we're gonna do that is, since we don't have any more stitches left to work into, we're going to sandwich these two ends together, but we first wanna make sure that we're inserting our hook into the same amount of side slip stitch rows as stitches as we have right here. So since I have five stitches, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five side slip stitch rows and insert my hook into that fifth yarn over pull through everything and then once we have that we can sandwich the two ends together and then seam it so into the next side slip stitch row i'm going to insert my hook into there which is this raised one and then into the next stitch into my back strap i'm going to insert my hook into there and then single crochet them together let's do one more this is my next side slip stitch row right here, so I'm gonna insert my hook into there, and then into that next stitch into the strap, and then single crochet. Now we're gonna keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left, and we'll do a chain up a one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I am back, and I have done just a little bit more from the last time I saw you guys. We just finished seaming our back panel to our strap, and what we're going to do from here is just continue on with that little strap prep that we did of 10 rows. And we're just going to continue with back loop slip stitch rows all the way up until we get a strap that can reach up and over your shoulder so that we can seam it to the back. And as you guys can see, mine are all done. I have a total of 40 rows and that's 10 inches or 25 centimeters. So I've already tried on my piece and I have figured out right where I want my strap to seam. So counting from this first row that I have, I counted down 35 stitches and inserted my first stitch marker. And then I counted five rows over since I have a total of five stitches right here. And how we're going to seam it is making sure that it's not twisted and we're going to place it over our stitch marker, but we're also going to fold it over so that our seam is along the inside. And then from here, I'm gonna insert my hook into the back panel and also in through the strap. I'm going to pull through to secure. Now to seam it, we're gonna insert our hook into that next side slip stitch row, which is our raised one right here. And then also into that next stitch, into the strap, and then single crochet. Let's do the next one. This is my next side slip stitch row. Insert your hook into that side loop, into that next stitch into the strap, and single crochet. Continue to do this until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. Okay, so now that we have both of our straps nice and attached, we're now going to single crochet along the edges just to clean it up. So what we're going to do is start by inserting our hook into any one of our side stitches that's right next to our strap. Insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And then from here, we're just gonna be putting one single crochet into every side slip stitch row, making our way all the way down until we reach this chain one space, slip stitch into that chain one space, and then we'll do a chain up one and cut. So let's just do the first few together. Inserting our hook into that first side slip stitch row, mine is this raised one right here, I'm gonna find that top loop. Insert my hook, and then single crochet. Let's do the next one. This is my next side slip stitch row. Insert your hook into there and single. Keep doing this, making our way all the way around and slip stitch into this chain one space, and then do the same thing along the outsides as well. So one single crochet into every side slip stitch row, make your way all the way around, do a chain up of one and cut, and then same thing on this side, and then I'll meet you guys back. So I'm back and I have just finished single crocheting around pretty much everything. 
And now we're gonna get started on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is insert our hook into any one of our side rows, insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. Now we're going to start with a single crochet row, just putting one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. So let's get that started. This is my first side slip stitch row right here, which is this raised one. I'm gonna insert my hook into there with one single crochet. And then my next is this divot. So find that top loop and then single crochet. Since we already know how to do this, go ahead and continue this, making our way all the way around. Slip stitch into that chain one space, and I'll meet y'all back. And now that we've single crocheted along the bottom, we're now going to make a chain the length that we want this to be. Now we could make it short to turn this into a bralette, but since we want this to be a chain top, I'm gonna to make a chain that is eight inches or 20 centimeters, and that's gonna be a chain of 30. And now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain into a chain of three. That's our turning chain that doesn't count as a stitch. And from here, we're gonna yarn over, preparing for a double crochet. And then into that chain that we blocked off, or the fourth chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a double crochet. So insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do the next one. Into that next chain, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. Continue to put one double crochet into every chain. So now that we put one double crochet into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch it into the base. So how we're gonna do that is count up one, two stitches. Slip stitch into that second stitch into the base to close our double crochet row. And then we're going to do a back loop slip stitch row. So we're going to slip stitch up one stitch into the base, flip our work, and let's put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Into that first stitch, insert, yarn over, pull through everything. Insert, yarn over, and pull through everything. Continue to do this, making our way all the way down towards the end of this row, and then I'll meet you guys back. So now that we've put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, we're going to switch back for our double crochet rows, but they're now gonna be back loop double crochets from here on out. So start this row with a chain three. There is one, two, three, flip our work, yarn over, preparing for a double crochet, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now continue putting one back loop double crochet into every stitch. We make our way down to the base, connect it into the base the same way that we just did, and then do your back loop slip stitch rows. We're going to continue with those two rows, making our way all the way around. When we don't have any more stitches left, I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam our bottom together. I have made my way all the way around with my back loop double and slip stitch rows. I don't have any more stitches left, so now we're going to seam it. We're going to do an outside loop slip stitch seam. So how we're going to do that is start by inserting our hook into that first available stitches front loop into the front panel, maybe a little tight, so go ahead and maneuver it. And then into that first available stitches back loop into the back panel, insert once we have three loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Let's do one more. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert into that front loop. And then into the next stitch into the back panel, insert into that back loop, yarn over and pull through. Continue to do this, making our way all the way down when we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up a one and cut. And now that our bottom is seamed, we are all done. The last thing we're going to have to do is weave in all of our ends. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. All of those links are down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!